Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to give you guys a quick heads up on how to prepare your iPhone or iPad for iOS 14 developer beta one because I know a lot of you guys even if you don't have a developer account are going to want to try iOS 14 and there's a few things you should do before you begin testing in beta software especially a major update like this one which could cause a lot of issues on your device I'm going to show you how to prepare and things you can do to be cautious before you update in case something was to happen and now of course a WWDC is literally six five days away as of the filming of this video depending on when you're watching and uh yeah everybody's going to want to update to ios 14 i already know that so let's take a look at some of the settings and options and things you should consider doing before you attempt to update to ios 14 the number one rule before you update to beta software is save your stuff save your pictures save your messages save your data everything before you attempt to update toy beta software and again especially such a major update which could cause a lot of issues the first thing is go into your iCloud settings and you want to make sure certain iCloud settings are enabled. So for example, iCloud photos that make sure it saves your photos in the cloud. The messages in the cloud, make sure you turn that on so it will back up all your messages. Of course, this is standard stuff, but just in case you did not know iCloud backup. Of course, this here needs to be enabled so your iPhone will automatically back up all your data to the cloud. Now, you can also back up things physically to your computer if you have one, but if you don't have one, the cloud is the best, of course, option for you. Now, if you don't have space on your iCloud, the only other option you may have is to click on manage storage and uh, you can go ahead and purchase additional storage i think is 50 gigs you can buy for 99 cents a month which is actually a very very good deal this will save all your pictures your notes your emails your contacts anything anything that you have on your iphone so click upgrade here and this will bring you to the menu where you can select how much storage you want to go ahead and purchase from the cloud so as i mentioned 50 gigs for 99 cents a month is actually a really good deal uh 2.99 will give you 200 gigs which for me is more than enough and if you want to go even higher you have two terabytes for ten dollars a month but yeah those are options if you're going to be using the cloud and now other things you may want to consider doing is going over to general go over right here to iphone storage and down here you can manage the storage on your iphone and also save additional attachments and things that you may not know that you can save for example you have your messages and attachments within messages these are all pictures and videos that people will send you you can save those directly to your iphone and back those up as well Very very important to do that now when you go to update to a new ios update right something like ios 14 this year is going to be at least three gigs of space or maybe even four so you're going to need space on your device in case you don't have enough storage on your device to update there's also a few things you may want to consider doing you want to go again to iphone storage and of course you can delete pictures delete videos and things like that from your iphone but right here you get an entire breakdown of what's taking up the entire uh, space of the storage on your iPhone. So you get an entire breakdown right here. The photos and videos is taking close to 20 gigs on this iPhone iMovie is taking close to 11 and you can see here the breakdown you can delete some of this stuff to make extra space on your iPhone in case uh, you don't have storage space in order to update to iOS 14 so saving all of your data saving all of your information is number one creating space on your device is number two and number three I don't recommend installing it on a primary device so if you're looking to try out iOS 14 and you have a secondary device that might be the best option to go about because as as I mentioned, iOS uh, 14 may cause issues on your device. So just keep those uh, tips in mind. Make sure you save your data, save your pictures, your messages. If you have to get additional cloud storage, you can do that as well. And make sure you delete anything that you don't necessarily need in order for the upgrade to go smoothly on your device. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. And I'll see you real soon. Peace.